Hey everyone, Sarah here. So I'm here to do my March setup for my March bullet journal, my work bullet journal, I should say. Uh, so if you don't know me, uh, my name is Sarah and I'm a project manager. And I use some of the things, some of the tools that I use in my project management role and I incorporate them into my planning and my functional planning. And I really use the bullet journal and Hobonichi Cousin as my main planning system. So before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And yeah, so here we go. This is March. So March, I am focusing on health. So if, I, if you don't know, I do like a continuous improvement project every year where I try to just make progress in different areas of my life. And so my focus is on health and how I'm going to incorporate that in my work bullet journal is I'm actually going to do a work gratitude log. Um, I've been feeling a little, or we shouldn't say little, I'm just not super motivated and I'm getting caught in like the weeds of, of the bad things. So I wanted to do a work gratitude log in my March setup. So I'm going to do that over on the left hand side and then my right hand side, I'm just blocking off a section to list out all the deadlines and I'm putting out a section that lists out the highlights of the month and then the issues that come up over the month. So here I'm going in, it's just my gray mild, li mild liner and I'm just going really simple. So I will say, if you guys didn't know, I missed my videos last week. And again, I just hasn't, haven't been feeling really motivated. And I realized I just needed to take a break. So uh, last week, I kind of gave myself a mini vacation or a half vacation where I'm like, you know what, I'm going to support my Etsy shop, but I'm going to just break on the videos because I just needed it. And I, I do will say I feel a heck of a lot better. And so I wanted to put this, um, kind of lost what I was thinking there, but anyhow, so this is just a simple, that's what I was saying. It's just a simple, quick, gritty March setup in my bullet journal, because it's important for me to just keep the habit. It's late. It's March 15th right now. I'm halfway through the month and you're like, why are you putting this out there? Because it's important for me to try to stay consistent, right? Because that's what builds those habits. So I'm 15 days into the work month, but I still need to do the tasks that are expected of me in the month. So I'm setting up my work bullet journal anyway, no matter what. And I'm going to go back and try to go through my calendar and find highlights of the day and backfill. And you'll, um, you'll see how I set up that gratitude log. But I know every month that I have to do a more presentation or a monthly operations review presentation. And these categories of highlights and issues are really what drive some of the, the things that I need to capture throughout the month. So I know what to put in the PowerPoint presentation <laughs> that I have to give because it comes every month and I'm like, I don't know what happened this month and I just need to keep track of it. So I'm really hoping that this um, highlights and issues list, which I did last month, uh, helps me out. And also the gratitude log, as I was doing this, I was like, you know what, this is actually going to be really great because it's just like little tidbits that happen throughout the the day that I want to put in there so and this is similar to like three lines a day I don't know if you've heard of that and a gratitude log but I wanted to just kind of create a work version of that into my work bullet journal and I'm just putting it in there and then down the left hand side I'm going to put the work days so I don't include weekends here so it's like one two three four five and then um, I don't know, like seven, eight, nine, ten, or whatever. So I'm just putting the work days in there, and I'm going to um, go in and put a highlight for each day. And I'm hoping that also helps me build out, figure out the content that I need to put in that operations review presentation that I have to do every month. The deadline section is really, um, I did that last month for the first time and that was so helpful because I just had a one section to flip through and keep track of all my deadlines and it was so helpful for me 
like just having a clear list of deadlines for the month and I was so happy with it that I'm like oh I need to do it but I realized I gave myself way too much space in that last month setup so I'm just trying to make it a little bit smaller and I put all my deadlines in here so whether it's my YouTube stuff more my work deadlines or any deadlines I put in here because I'm in this so much so this is my work bullet journal but I'm also, I'm in it 40 hours a week. I have this open 40 hours a week. So it's where I'm constantly looking. So I, I'll put any deadlines in there. You know, I always say just, it, just figure out where, you, where you're looking and put it there, right? So I know we all have a lot of different planning, uh, planners and such. But this one I'm in a lot of the times, a lot of the time during the week. And I look at it constantly. So I know that I'm not going to miss my deadlines if I see it there. So you see me putting the work, the days of the work week there. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. And I just plan on putting in quick tidbits, like nothing long. I just want to highlight, find, find like a good thing that happens each day at work. Uh, just with COVID and craziness, I just want to put something in there. And I'm putting in a calendar up at the upper right hand corner. And, you know, I don't, I just felt weird about not having a calendar. So I just stuck it there. But it is the end of the quarter this month. So this is a kind of a big deal that uh, March, it's the end of Q1 uh, fiscally. So anywho, we're going to do that. And then the issues. So the issues would turn into like maybe the low lights or maybe like something that happened with a customer that we need to keep track of or whatever the case may be there I just want to have a place to put it so put it away it's like putting your keys in the same spot every day that's why I just like having these templates set up now I'm going into and I'm setting up my next action list and I'm doing a waiting on list and again this is like a really quick and gritty spread I'm just being fast it took me I literally I didn't speed this video up it was so 12 minutes to do this setup um, and I wanted it to just be fast because again like I was saying it's really just important for me to keep the habit of doing it and I know if I don't have these things are going to drop the drop if I don't keep track of my next actions and stuff I'm waiting on things are going to fall down so I wanted to just refresh it again every month I try to refresh this because it helps me understand what's still important and how to prioritize so I might not bring everything over from last month but I am going to refresh it because the stuff that was low priority I just left it in the previous months and the new high priority stuff gets migrated over so I basically it's almost like the old next actions list they're like someday maybe or a parking lot for other things so I really just created these lists to go put all my work to do's which is what i call a next action and then the things i'm waiting on from people so again just a nice clean list to help me keep focused on what the priorities are what i'm waiting on and what i need to do and again my top threes really come out of this next action list so again that's my gray mild liner and i'm just going in and i'm just putting bubble letters around it trying to make it somewhat fancy but keeping it really quick and fast So here I'm going in and I know I know I have more deadlines to do, but I'm just putting it in there just because I know I'm looking at my calendar, my Hobonichi, and I'm just really um, going through and looking at quarter end. But I know I have a list of other ones I have to get done, so I'll put them in later. So here I'm just putting in, today's the 15th and we got payday, woohoo! So I put a highlight in there and then we identified a gap in one of our processes. So I just put it in there as a highlight. So that was something good. And then I remembered a few other little highlights that we had throughout the month and I just put them in the highlight section. I'm just going in and erasing the pencil there. And now I'm going through my next action list and I'm checking off the stuff that I did already and then um, I'm also going through it to see what I want to bring over into uh, March's next action list so I'm just going through that and, and uh, just kind of checking off what I did and bringing over what I didn't and I actually chose to not bring anything over from last month so we did just set our goal so I'm going to be working on a new 90-day plan and that's really going to drive a lot of my next actions and priorities for the upcoming 
well, 90 days, I guess. So we're going to be working on that soon. So be on the lookout for that video coming up next Monday. Um, so yeah, so there's my February next action list and waiting on list. And I'm just going through it. And I'm not going to bring anything over. I'm just going to leave it there. And then kind of just get into it. So here's the flip through. And I uh, hope you guys liked this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. And you want to see more from me. And until see you next week. Or see you on my plan with me. Bye everyone. Take care.